Baseman Engineer here, and today we'll be modifying old neon sign transformers so that they not only work again, but deliver twice as much power. First, you're going to need to remove the top panel, normally held on by a couple screws. If the transformer contains black potting, it's possible to fix. If it has cream or tan colored material, it is epoxy and nearly impossible to remove. Next, you're going to need an angle grinder. You can buy one for $10. Grind along the edges of the bottom panel and one of the edges of a side panel. Once that's done, you should be able to simply pull the case off from the block of tar. Be careful to snip any wires still attached to the case. Don't just rip them off. Now's the time to prove how patient you are. Grab a hammer, chisel, and screwdriver and turn on some music. This will take a while. Keep in mind approximately where the coils are inside the block because the chisel can go straight through it and ruin the transformer. You should end up with something like this. If not, we'll talk about that in a second. From here it's easy to remove the bolts holding the brackets on and split the transformer apart. You can then scrape even more of the tar off and even add some insulation that we took off the block from earlier. And I am removing the primaries and applying a liberal amount of epoxy and this insulating sheeting found this on the inside of each of them. There's one sheet per transformer. I would use this other insulation as it actually works better, but as you can see, it's really flaky and crumbles pretty easily. But yeah, so far so good. I tested this and connected the two output leads of the 12,000 volts on either side of it, and 12,000 volts was not enough to get through it, so hopefully it should prevent any shorts to the primary. Okay, so here I am removing the magnetic shunts. These little pieces of metal here, they are what limit the amount of current inside of this transformer. By removing some of them, you're able to increase the output power. Each of these four groups on the two E sections, they each of them has 19 magnetic shunts, and I've removed 10 from each, which gives a total of 36 of them inside the transformer. I found that this is a pretty good number for this transformer, 12,000 volt, 30 milliamp transformer. It allows it so that the primary doesn't overheat, but I still get a reasonable amount of power. Well, this is kind of odd. I seem to have a neon sign transformer that's a little different than most. So far, I've been unable to find a way to remove these coils, so thank goodness the coils themselves are not damaged. And as far as magnetic shunts go, instead of vertical laminations in between the primary and the secondary, it's these little horizontal laminations. I've already removed a couple of them. They look like that. It's kind of odd, so I'll see how many of those I can remove before it needs to be submerged in oil, even though that's going to end up happening in it. Okay, here we are with the two finished transformers. They're kind of haphazardly connected to mains power. And I have one of them flipped upside down so that I can connect them straight across like this, not have crisscross wires everywhere which it still kind of is. But I'll show you what kind of power output I get from this. It's pretty impressive. The buzzing has gone down quite a bit.
and that is how you modify and repot neon sign transformers. This should be nearly invincible with all the oil and the uh, insulation sheeting that I put everywhere. And not to mention it has more than twice the amount of power that it had to begin with. Both of them together to start were 60 milliamps in total. Um, now I estimate that they're more than 120, which is pretty impressive. Of course, a lot of that energy is going to be wasted with my bucket capacitor, but this should be pretty neat. And that was my sneak peek for what this coil can do now. This project is coming to a close. I've spent as much money as I want to right now on it. Um, but thank you for checking out this video and for looking at all my work on modifying the Ensign Transformers. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming video of how I built this. And thanks for watching.